Hello, today we have another fantastic dinosaur fossil cast to check out. Uh, this is Velociraptor mongoliensis, which is probably my nine-year-old's most favorite dinosaur to check out. Um, so this is a dinosaur you've probably heard about thanks to Michael Crichton's Jurassic Park books and the movies that kind of have spun off from it. Um, but it is one of our fantastic theropods and we're going to take a closer look at its ankle and its foot today to try to learn a little bit more about it. Um, now again, this is Velociraptor mongoliensis, and the name alone tells us a little bit about where it came from. Uh, this fossil was found in Mongolia, um, and it is specifically from the late Cretaceous. So it was running around and eating meat about 83 million years ago. So um, when we talk about how it's moving, um, we know that Velociraptor is one of our dromaeosaur theropods. Um, so it has this three-toed foot um, and it makes it part of the neotheropods. It does have a fourth claw over here uh, that's held up off the ground. So this is like a dew claw that you might see on your pet dog or your pet cat. Um, and it's not part of the footprint that it's leaving around. Uh, but this with those three toes uh, down on the ground would be leaving a three-toed track as as it was moving around. Um, so I mentioned before that Velociraptor is one of our more derived theropods, and that just means that it has more specific characteristics uh, that can help us to kind of classify it into smaller and smaller clades or divisions. Um, so it does have this large retractable retractable sickle claw um, on the second digit, um, and that is a characteristic that it shares with all of our dinosauria that fall into the Paraaves clade. Um, so this curved and sharp uh, digit was capable of making an arc of motion, so a pretty big motion, and here we can see that it's held up kind of off the rest of the foot. Uh, so you might be wondering what that was for. Well, you probably already have one of the hypotheses in mind. Uh, so there are two possible hypotheses for this use. Um, the first, um, as we remember from Jurassic Park, is that this claw could be used for disemboweling its prey, um, which is pretty, I don't know, pretty interesting image that you might have in mind. Um, and it's possible. So this big, huge um, claw bone would have been covered in a keratin sheath, and it is pretty sharp on the underside uh, when we look at it. Um, so that is one of the possible hypotheses for its use. Um, it would also, it's been hypothesized, just be really useful for holding on to your prey. Um, so prey often don't wanna go down without a fight. So if you have this nice big sickle claw, it would allow you to kind of hold on to it and to hold it into place while you finalize the kill. Um, so both of these hypotheses are considered valid. Um, it's not been determined which one is the better hypothesis to kind of explain the use, um, but they both work and they tell us that whether it was for disemboweling prey or holding that prey down, it was definitely used in the process of hunting um, and getting some food, which makes Velociraptor one of our um, really amazing um, theropod dinosaurs to check out. I hope you had fun taking a look at this fossil with me today. With that, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day uh, full of great things to learn about and perhaps some more fossils. Until next time.